Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, we are on Roosevelt Island. Let's run it. Heroic. I wanted to show my shield build, um, at the very end here, so I'm gonna go into my shield. Make that up. Now, the reason I want to show this, hold on, I just want to change out. Nope, I'll work with it. Alright, so, I got my main, my secondary, my pistol. I just want to show you right quick. Probably gonna go in here and die. I use the shield build for a little bit. But, uh, I want to show you all what I'm doing. And, uh, it's gonna be kind of a tanky build. Now, it's not a complete tank build. If I wanted to go completely tank, I would use the artificer. But I want to show you what this does. It also has a nice little skill to it. Remember, if they get behind you, you are going to get destroyed. Shield. I can go toe to toe pretty much everybody and never really think about it. You can see my shield starting to bleed. Pop a headshot. Alright, it's fully up. Back all the way up this guy. So, the reason I'm able to do this is because the tools I'm using. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm using an um, assault rifle. Just when I start um, this one I'm going to show you guys is how I got to this, and now he's got me. And I got shot from behind. But that's no big deal, because what I wanted to show you guys is I want to show you actually what's going on here. Now, if you're going into the um, summoner build for that, the very first thing you're going to want to look at is you're going to want it on right here. Put technician on. It does add a skill tier. Now, my personal preference, I do use the Baker's Dozen in here. Um, reason being is I'm going to get a lot of rifle power from it, 350. And plus, you're going to get perfect lucky sh Magazine capacity is increased by 30%. And then you have a percent chance to get your magazine back if you miss a shot. So... It's a good deal if you're in cover. Uh, I do like doing a lot of cover pop shots. I use Baker's Dozen all the time. The other main weapon I like to use, I do use the uh, classic M1A. I use in sync with that in my other builds. And I'll show you guys those builds a little bit later. The other one I use, I use the AKM. I put a 50 round mag on it. Um, I actually did all this. I You have to put stability on this weapon. So add a scope for stability. Add your uh, grip for stability, or you can add critical hit chance and damage if you like. Uh, and then I also did uh, 20 rounds, so that made it a 50 round. The um, reload time wasn't really that much of a difference. Then I also put f future perfect in here, and this is what I was talking about my turret. This gives me a uh, one skill, two seconds, stacks up to three times. So as I'm fighting, uh, let me go to. That? There we go. If you look on my right side of my see double zero, as I kill a enemy, I'll say one, and I'll have a little yellow mark, two, two yellow marks, and three. And when that happens, I'm filling up those skill tiers. So as I'm filling up those skill tiers, I get to um, skill tier six, uh, grant search for 15 seconds, 90 seconds down. So what that means is, is as I'm killing people, I'm actually increasing my skin. So it's a very good weapon, and with build, if you get to your seven, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up in overcharge, which means that you got 500% active regen, shield health, and holstered. So, getting into that um, into that skill tier seven is pretty nice. The overcharge, when you when you put your shield out, you are gonna lose that. So just realize that. But your uh, your assault turret will be doing damage at that point. So next is the build. I've used four. Bulwarks. And the reason behind work gives you the um give you total armor, three pieces give you armor regen and shield health. Pieces make shift for you damage. Twenty percent of that amount is repaired to both fifteen seconds. So what is is that as you get shot, that shield's taking the damage, it regenerated. Now what I did with this build is I have the armor armor regen in a headshot slot. So this way I'm getting a little bit more and then 
to here. I have, again, armor damage, armor regen. Now, the armor and the armor regen, these affect your shield, too. So, just realize as you put these armor and armor regen that's what it helps your shield also now I have other builds too so that armor and headshot damage um, I have a couple that have weapon damage so if you want to add a weapon damage you know and this interesting is is you can change your stats so that instead of just armor you can have armor critical hit so on so just know uh, you could change the damage so if you're looking to go into the dark zone and a bit bulky uh, tanky situation this is a rule for that uh, this is really meant for PvE. Now, the other part of this is the sidearm. I have the Liberty, and the Liberty or Death, what happens is it gives you 2% weapon damage, stacks up to 30 times. Now, what happens is if you get a headshot, it's going to consume all your stacks, and it repairs your shield for 3% per stack. When we were in there, and I said, oh, I'll just hit this guy in the head, that's why my shield regenerated right there. Now, this weapon, it does 5 um around quite a bit as you saw but the good thing is it's got insane amount of damage especially for a pit and it will do a good amount of damage for you the next part about this I'm using the wrong Providence so usually uh, what I would want to use is a Providence defense uh, headshot damage and you can change it now my talent set on braced my other one must be in my uh, in my stash and I didn't realize it I used Headhunter, you can use Glass Cannon, use, uh, something that's going to give you a little bit more weapon damage. The reason I use Headhunter is because when you pop somebody in the head, you're going to get uh, the extra amount of head damage next time you go in here. So I want to just show you real quick again. Uh, when I go in here and I pop a shot, uh, the reason I'm getting such crazy damage, I want to show you that. So you can see I'm, I'm popping off a million on headshot damage, so you're not losing. And you can see on my pistol, I'm stuck her. If I shoot him in the body, it's at 5, 6, 7, 8. And then pop her in the head, everything goes better. And now obviously I'm not behind cover and I'm just getting hit, so it's not that good. But this right here, this is how you can play on heroic. I'm very well in it. Uh, I'm just rushing it, like I said. I just wanted to show you guys. So now you can see on my weapon, you can see the one. That means I'm at skill tier 7. Because I've already got the build 6. And the technician part that adds that skill to. So, uh, because of the foundry bolt, literally got a uh, 6 skill tier build. And that's what makes this so great. Is, is I'm literally running skill tier 6 right there. So I've got active regen, I've got shield health and holster regen so that's what the foundry bulwark's going to do for you as well as the technician if i were to take the technician off i'd only get a build to five and then like i said with that assault rifle right here i'm adding another skill tier every time i get a kill so let's just point that here you can see it's only doing 45k damage which isn't terrible being that it's not built up as a skill tier build so you know you can literally walk around these guys, you don't have to worry, you got them on. Immediate medical assistance needed. Like I said, I wish I had my um, And you can see my active regeneration building up. And I mean, I can sit here, and this guy can keep shooting me, and shooting me. And I don't have my artificer on either. Another thing you might want to look at is... Oop. Another thing you might want to look at is, uh, instead of putting on a turret if you're really getting into it you can put on your artificer right here and what that does is it actually gives your shield a little bit extra health it'll give it a little bit of a bump it's not a bad deal and this right here this is what i was talking about lucky shot i can shoot off anywhere i want you can see the rounds are staying at 19 so i don't have to constantly reload so if i'm hit but now what you can see is i'm getting a million on my headshots even like that so it's not about always being uh, toe to toe with somebody, but you have to. So if somebody were to come up behind me, I can very easily pop it back out, go toe to toe, and then get back in. All right, guys. So I hope this helps you out. Hope you enjoyed. And this is the memento right here. Pick up all these, and you can see my uh, health is going, or my shield is going up even more. So the memento. If you guys don't have it, what happens is uh, kill confirmed. As you kill an enemy, they drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide a short and long-term buff. Um, 
you get weapon damage, bonus armor, and skill efficiency. And you can see that blow up on me. My bad. Um, and obviously it's not affecting me all that much. Having a guy literally come up and blow up like that, and I'm still good and alive. So, the other thing about that, um, that memento is it also adds a skill tier. It gives weapon damage, armor, and a skill tier. And I like it because it gives you all the... And this is what's causing everything to be a really good build. So you've got yourself, uh, technician is important because that adds that skill tier. So as you're doing this, you're going to have a good skill tier. Then you're going to add the fact...